Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Build. And in today's episode, we're going to be building our 1,000 subscriber special sign covered in crazy yetis. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, if you guys do like this series, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more Planet Coaster content. We got plenty of different series on this channel. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. I think um, I think I made this video about a week ago, so I'll do my best to follow. I don't think it'll be too hard. These letters here I downloaded from. I'll have to I'll have to find the Steam Workshop link. I'll put a link to this down in the comments below. Somebody created these letters. I think they were called funky letters or wacky letters. There will be a link down below. And so I just downloaded those letters so I could use them to make this 1000 subscriber sign. And what's interesting about this, it's not just a sign. It becomes something more creative and a lot more fun as we're getting into it. We start putting yetis, like having snowball fights and all sorts of stuff. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. So anyways, I, I had a new thought pop in my head. This is six times speed because I wanted, didn't want to have to do a two part video for this episode. So, um, I put it at six times speed to get everything down to 30 minutes. So hopefully you don't notice it too much. Like I know once you start getting into like 10 times speed, the camera and the, the motion it's almost hard to watch so as I played around with it before and I found that five times speed seems like to be a pretty good sweet spot but this doesn't look too bad looking at it right now so hopefully it's all right on your guys's end and uh, yeah so here we're just making like the YouTube play button and uh, oh yeah my train of thought before was uh, I didn't know what I was gonna be doing with this and I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. So I decided to make the 1,000 subscribers, and then I, you know, thought, well, what do I do with this once I have it? And this is something where I don't have any reference, I don't have any ideas. The only thing in the back of my head was, I don't know, I put it on some wood. So I literally just typed, I think I typed in wood. I can't see it there because I'm looking at Premiere, and it's a little bit more pixely because I'm watching it on a down resolution version but uh, I think I just typed in wood there and I just start putting wood in and seeing how that looks playing around with it and I was pretty happy with that but I want to get a little bit more creative I don't want it just to be um, wood on pegs I got to build some sort of a building some sort of a scaffold and a structure because I also want to have yetis climbing all over it being playful and doing all sorts of crazy things so they're gonna need some sort of platform or kind of base to to walk upon and we're gonna have to be able to stand this thing up without it falling over we 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 always want to add some element of realism to our creations I'm trying to figure out where I should put the play button there and I thought it looked good underneath and I figured I could have it sort of hanging so I flip it upright and um, and I just start playing around with some scaffold and you can see the subscriber train station in the background we did that for our let's build episode one that was in our last episode so if you didn't see that go check it out we do build that subscriber train and it turns out to be pretty cool and this all this the sign and the train station was my gift back to you guys for being such awesome subscribers. So if you haven't seen the 1000 subscriber special, I suggest go check that out because we have some fun. We have a little vote going on with the Yeti names. Um, I, I reveal all this stuff and do a wacky little explanation of everything. And yeah, it was, it was just a fun video. One sec, I gotta clear my throat. Sorry about that guys. So one thing about this series that's different from the rest of my series is I'm watching the video right now talking with you guys and if I kind of edit out what I'm saying, I'm not going to be in sync with the footage anymore. So I could edit out the footage and do a cross dissolve, but you're going to miss whatever I did in that time. And I can't really figure out any better way of doing it. It just is what it is. So if I have to take a coffee sip or a 
drink of water or whatever cough clear my throat I kind of have to just cut the audio dry but I do have music and stuff that I'll be playing in the background so it's just a little bit of a new process for me and um, I hopefully you know you guys enjoy it and maybe I'll find ways to improve it in the future if you guys can think of anything just let me know and I'll, I'll I'm always listening to feedback and I'm always trying new things so here you can see me building the scaffold and I'm trying to make kind of platforms so you know whoever was building this sign I want it to look like you know somebody came along and built this and I kind of in the back of my head thinking like it was built by Yetis and for Yeti land I want it to fit with Yeti land so Yeti land we're gonna have wooden structures there's gonna be nothing really it's gonna be all primitive it's just very primitive building structures. I mean, probably didn't need railings and stuff. I mean, maybe it's a little bit human looking, but um, our Yetis are resourceful. They're smart, so we can we can give them an above. We can give them a, a pretty good intelligence level, and they kind of can figure things out. So um, they're they're going to be building things pretty close to what the cowboys could build I guess you could say that we're using a lot of the western parts and the pirate parts for what the yetis will be building and here I'm just trying to add some touches to um, the sign I want to also kind of incorporate the the festive uh, feel to things because we are building this on the new winter update map and we're you know we got all these new winter update pieces to play with so I want to see what I could do with them and I want to make use of them and we did hit 1000 subscribers just a few days before Christmas so that was pretty awesome everything was good timing for us to do all of this and create this really awesome collage so I'm just playing around with the different little all lights and seeing how they fit in and what I can do with them and I'm pretty happy with the structure and how things are starting to look so I get rid of the sign because I just wanted it off to the side in case I change my mind and I have to restart things it's always good to have a backup so you can reselect everything and that's kind of like my one tip of the day is whenever you're building something put a copy of it off to the side that way if you need to redo something you can select all of it without having this conflict of selection where you're you have a whole bunch of other crap in your selection so it's always good to have things off to the side so that you can duplicate them and re-add them to whatever you're building and now as you see we're obviously adding Christmas lights uh, I thought the colors that came with them weren't exactly what I wanted I think I changed a couple of the lights I made red green blue and white and um, I just wanted the two Christmas colors plus the Channel 5 gaming color and white. So felt festive but also incorporated a little bit of our Channel 5 gaming colors. And I'm just trying to like link them together so it seems somewhat realistic. I, things like, I always try to add a little bit of realism to things where it makes sense. I mean like a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense in this game like depending on what you're doing. But you want to add, incorporate a little bit of you know um, believability within your creations so the light should run continuously all around but at the same time there's nowhere to be plugged in so that part doesn't make sense like I said we want to try and take it as far as we can and there I was trying to add some hanging lights I wanted to see if I could droop some because I wanted to maybe have a Yeti hanging off and I'm pretty happy with the sign at this point so I want to start posing the Yetis and this to me is just a heck of a lot of fun um, I used to, this is kind of like what I did when I was a kid, I would just grab a piece of paper and I'd come up with like a character and then I would just start posing them and doing different things with them and I'd make a whole bunch of them on like a map and I'd have them hanging off things. I mean this is really reminiscent to a lot of my drawings as a kid. In fact I have a lot of those drawings somewhere in art books in the attic somewhere. I should probably uh, make a video of that for the future, I think that might be fun. Like because I mean I, I don't even remember half the things I drew when I was I mean I have art book drawings from the time I was four years old all the way up till my college drawings back you know when I was like 22 23 um, I haven't really drawn too much stuff over the last seven years but there's pretty much been an, a drawing for every year I mean an, an art book for every year of my life since I was like five I've always had an art book 
to practice drawing. And a lot of the stuff I was drawing was animated characters, and then I eventually got into game art design and animation. So this stuff to me is just, it's doing animation, posing characters is like a video game to me. And here I noticed his expression wasn't fierce enough, so I literally replaced his mouthpiece with um, a bigger one to make him like really roaring. And I tried to get him that arms out roaring pose. He's tilted back a little bit and that gives him the strongest pose of all of them because he's the guy at the top just screaming at the top of his lungs like we did it 1000 subscribers he's the he's the ultimate yeti so uh i'm having a lot of fun with these guys and this guy here i brought his arms in and i'm just trying to reuse the poses so i tilted the snowman to the side here you can see his body's tilted in the back of my mind i'm knowing i'm going to turn him sideways so if he was sideways like that he'd be bending and you can see me putting these yetis off to the side and that's because if I pose them and I spend all this time just tweaking their bodies and posing them just right, we can use that again in the future for our yeti let's play series. So if we want to have a guy throwing a boulder or picking something up, we can just reuse these poses. So um, building this sign was also productive in the sense of I'm going to be able to make all these poses and reuse them in future episodes without having to spend you know each one of these poses probably took me five minutes to do and you're seeing it all come together in you know 10 20 seconds it's pretty crazy having this at 600 percent speed um or i guess it'd be like a minute i don't know six minutes is a minute so yeah um either way it goes really fast and you can see these things coming together really quickly and it's, it's fun. So I wanted him to like hanging on the side with his arm out screaming, maybe give him something to hold on to later. And then I had the idea here to make the U falling. And I thought that would have been just kind of corky, like it got knocked over. So we take our, our hanging guy that was doing the chin ups or whatever, and we just flip him upside down and then we just jam one of his legs into the U. That way it looks like his foot got stuck and He's hanging on by one limb, and we want his leg to be kind of flailing a bit, so we put a little bit of a flail, and his arms need to be kind of level with gravity, so we want to kind of straighten his arms out a bit. And uh, you can see the pivot point that I use on these spheres are all where the joints would be. That one got flipped by accident, so um, you want to have your pivot points where the joints are, that way you can repose characters really quickly. And I really like these Yeti characters, them being so simple, because it really allows me to repose them. And then I had the idea of kind of putting this guy on the side of the sign, hanging on, kind of like King Kong, just like, ah! And uh, his face was barging into the sign, so I had to like tilt it, rotate it, push it in, and get it just kind of looking off to the side a bit. And I wanted his foot to be kind of held up on something, so he had... A little bit of weight so I put one foot on the, the board there and one foot against the other board and now it's a little bit more believable when we want him holding on to something and now he's really solidified his pose and he's planted himself against that sign with a lot of strength sorry guys I had to keep clearing my throat it's been a long day of talking and making videos and uh, my throat's jammed up for some reason. I, got, I guess I got a little bit of winter sickness going on. Just a little bit. So we want, I wanted to have the idea of this guy dangling his feet off the side of the balcony. Um, this one didn't quite work out because the sign was in the way. You can see here, I was like, oh darn it. So it kind of goes underneath the sign. And that's okay though. And then there's some crashing in there. So we had to pull his feet back a bit more. Just tuck them into place. and. You know, his butt's coming through the floor, so we got to readjust his legs, readjust his knees, readjust his butt. Just a lot of little fiddling. But to me, it was really fun because while you're just fiddling with things, at the end of the day, you get to see these things come to life. And it's really rewarding. It's, I get a lot of gratification when you see one little Yeti doing his ridiculous little pose and it's just a lot of fun and 
this is really good practice for me because we're going to be making like the Yeti land war zone or whatever. And um, I want to get practice at posing them, get ideas. And while I'm posing these things, I'm getting ideas like, oh, this could be a guy throwing a boulder. Or this could be a guy sitting on a snowman or this could be a guy hanging or being dragged by like three snowmen. And so I had the idea here to make a snow pile and have a Yeti falling into it. So we take this same guy here and we drop him in. I didn't bring his arms or face down because you don't see it. So why have wasted polygons underneath the snow? Those are extra building objects that the game doesn't have to process because you don't see them. So you might as well just get rid of them. So he's really just a, a stump with legs, but from a distance because he's covered in snow you don't notice. And then this guy, I wanted to give him a different expression. So we gave him a circular mouth instead of a little um, half circle, the little moon. And I wanted to start posing him like he has a shovel in his hands. So I'm trying to get the pose like he's digging and he's kind of shocked to see that his buddy fell in the snow pile. And then if I give him a shovel, it's like he's trying to dig out his friend. But I didn't realize how small the shovels were, so I kind of got the pose wrong. So I have to like now readjust, and I want him kind of tilting into it a little bit, like kind of, you know, putting some oomph into it. So you got to tilt his body, so he's putting his back into it. Bring his hands a little bit closer together, and change his angle, the angle of which he's looking at. And then there we go. He's looking pretty decent, and I was having troubles with the face there. And then I figured we put a little bit of snow on the shovel because um, I, I, I don't know, figured like he should have some snow on that shovel by now. So he's not slacking. Put him off to the side because we could use him again for future purposes. So maybe in the future he's digging up a pile of candy <laughs> instead of like he's piling candy up. He's got a, you know, a shovel for candy. Uh, so there we go. He's, he's sitting there and then we got this guy and I wanted to stuff a dude through the the O or sorry the zero of the 1000 subscriber sign so in order to do that I had to have him kind of looking forward doing like a Superman pose and I just stuffed him in there and like he's breaking through and I mean the woods not shattered or anything it's not perfect I was thinking about doing that but I thought it looked fine so we just left it and it looks hilarious his butt sticking out the back and he's happy and he's just uh, having a blast there so a little bit ridiculous and I'm really just uh, finding new things and with our Yeti Papa we had all these splattered snowmen on the hammer and I really like that effect so I figured maybe we'd have some splattered snowmen against the sign like the Yetis threw him up there um, because they're all about destruction they're little destructive boys uh, and they like breaking things so I had the idea of hanging some lights off and that's what I'm doing here uh, and then I figured we could have another Yeti dangling by his foot and there we go so and I'm, I'm also thinking in the back of my head like we have nothing but boys here and I do have girls in our baby Yeti army from our Yeti um, army video so I do think that there needs to be some girls and at some point we start adjusting them so I also want to incorporate the snowmen because we're using the snowmen they're part of the theme so we want this guy kind of freaking out a little bit hats falling off and uh, yeah just trying to have fun with it and I mean it's getting pretty elaborate at this point and I'm just trying to see what I can add. I love this idea, like King Kong holding a, a little toy um, instead of the princess, I guess. Um, I was just trying to figure out like accessories, like maybe this guy's hat's falling off. But I didn't like that idea on him, but I did like the idea of hats. So I'm playing around with different hats. I picked the Channel 5 Gaming Blue for that hat, but I think we changed it because it didn't feel festive enough. And of course, the top hat is the most fitting for the guy on top makes sense and now I'm looking over at the pieces that we used from the last Yeti let's play and I actually made a big mistake here I brought over the skull from the I had those Yetis over there as a building 
and I was bringing pieces over and this creates some big problems later because they're two different buildings and I forgot to separate the pieces so I end up having to select them I just I ended up fiddling with it for a while and if that footage is in here I might have to just cut it out so at some point I might just uh, yeah this is it right here I don't know how long this goes on for um, oh maybe it's just after this then so we wanted to add some females and incorporate the ones that we used from our Yeti Army Let's Play. So, um, yeah, just making some girls, jingling the jingle bells and duplicate this one, make her look a little bit different, maybe take the glasses off, change the rotation of the, the bells and the bow and just uh, make it slightly different. So they all have something unique going on. And I'm looking at it all and I'm, and I'm liking where, where we're at and I'm trying to come up with some new ideas somebody suggested a snowball fight in the comments of the Yeti army so I wanted to get some practice at that here so here I'm just trying to pose out a uh, like someone throwing a fastball it also looked like a punch there for a second which was giving me an idea of having a Yeti punching off the head of a snowman or something. Maybe maybe a little too violent for this episode, so I decided we'll just uh, we'll leave the punching out for now. And then we want to use the screaming pose. And that's the closest thing we have to somebody kind of flying backwards and falling on their butt. So all we have to do with this pose is take his legs, make them flail, give him a super surprise face, and um, you know maybe adjust his arms a little bit more and um, and he's flailing around and we're kind of getting close to it looking like a still life animation of um, someone getting hit with a snowball so here I'm looking at the um, different snow effects because I want it to look like he got impacted and the snow is flying everywhere and we want like a little trail of snow coming off his, you know, off the throw. So the best way to do that was using the snow effects and the little blizzard effects. And I tried using the squash snowball, but I didn't like the look of that. But essentially just put a snowball up against his face, put him off to the side because we could use that again later. And yep, he's getting pegged. And I'm just looking around trying to figure out what else can I add to this. At this point, I'm pretty happy. And I'm thinking if I add any more, it's going to be probably overkill at this point. So I just want to go in and add these final touches, like some hats. So like he's a good way of making him look like he's getting knocked back is by giving him a hat that's falling off his head. It just really accentuates the animation a little bit more. And then here I had the idea of like, having a snowman hanging off like somebody brought him up there and then he kind of fell but uh, the way this looks right now is pretty bad it looks like a snowman on a cross <laughs> and I immediately was like okay I gotta fix this right now <laughs> uh, not a good <laughs> idea uh, so we had him hanging from the railing and he's like knocking the U over so that helps complete our story so it really just uh, finishes the story like the snowman knocked the U off the Yeti who brought the snowman up is falling and hanging off the U and that really just kind of was like a, a thing of luck where you know you start doing something and it works out in the end so this is where I start fiddling and having problems because it's two different buildings so I'm probably gonna cut this out here and come back when it's fixed. All right, looks like the problem is fixed now, and what I wanted to do is add a Channel 5 Gaming sign, because it's 1,000 subscribers for Channel 5 Gaming. And then maybe that jester, whatever, could be me. Um, so wanted to add a Channel 5 Gaming sign. I was trying to figure out what could work for the gaming part. I think I ended up going with this one. It's a little bit bigger than the Channel 5, but that's all right. It's the best thing I could find that matched it. And I'm um, just fiddling with the colors. I really wanted blue because that's what we use for Channel 5 Gaming. It's Channel 5 in blue. 
and the gaming is white but for some reason I don't know if it's the lighting or the way it looked on the sign the blue just didn't look as readable and I wanted this guy puking out confetti as so I'm really just looking for final touches at this point and I had the idea of him like shooting off cannons or something <laughs> because he's at the top he he's got to do some kind of you know something dramatic to really finish it off and then I found this thing and I was like ooh what is this and uh, it's in the I guess the Western slash steampunk section and I think that thing looked really cool it looked like a cannon so I think that's the one I decided in my mind I was like I think this is it and if he's holding on to it it looks like he's got two cannons working and I like the mechanics of it too so I had the idea of getting the the fire that spouts just so each one of those pumps is pushing flames up the top so he's really you know just solidifying the top victory pose with some flamethrowers and it's kind of like the cherry on top so I really love the way that turned out and then I'm just uh, you know adding some more final touches so we put a little helmet on this guy it's like a bucket looks kind of cute another cowboy hat for this guy over here and um, we're getting pretty close to being done I want a snowball flying out of his hand so that helps accentuate the fact that he's like he's losing his snowball he lost the fight and um, at this point I think we start going into I thought I thought an idea here was to throw snowballs at the YouTube play button like they're trying to push play with snowballs but I scrapped that idea and a lot of this is just trying to figure things out and this part kind of bummed me out because I really liked the spotlight I really did but the because the material used on the letters is a very plasticky type of material there was way too much glare and the glare made it so you couldn't see the the letter you couldn't read the letters as well but I love the idea of the Yetis made the snowman you know hold the light up for them <laughs> and it looked really cute however the glare was just too much so I tried bringing it back making it dimmer and it just uh, it wasn't working out it looked good from certain angles but the dead-on angle which you would want to look at it most you couldn't really read the letters so it was a bit unfortunate that I couldn't get it to work I also wanted to put a spotlight on this guy and so I'm, I'm just looking at it trying to figure out what can I do to change it so I usually think of these things while I just do something else so you know I just start putting sparklers and other lights around and I figured I'll you know think of something by the time you know I decorate something else so we eventually come up with an idea as we're just playing around with things and I thought all right this is the last thing I'll try before I go to plan B is try angling it from a different angle and still the glare was just too much so we have to delete it and come up with plan B so plan B is to now use some of these what are they called angled lights from the sci-fi pack and that did the job and the glare wasn't nearly as bad but it didn't look nearly as good and we don't have the cute little snowman so I was a little bit bummed out by that but at the end of the day it worked out and I think we're pretty much done here so I probably slow the footage down or nope we, we still have a little bit to go the, the the footage says about a minute left here so I'm trying to time it um, just I wanted to make use of that snowman and I wanted to add a little bit more final lighting so we put a campfire in and um, I think that's it so I'll slow the footage down for this so we can get a better look at it but that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, that's our Yeti 1K subscriber sign. Again, if you haven't seen that episode of the 1K thank you to everybody, please go check that out. And let me know if you guys enjoy this series. And uh, if you like, please be sure to like. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode when we build a futuristic sci-fi mall slash Skytrain station. All right, see you, everybody.